hey hello everyone welcome back so today in this video i am going to talk about the apache server for the windows machines that means how to download and which version you have to download the apache server for the windows machine after that what are the all steps to now install the apache server on the windows machine video subscribe my channel and please watch the other videos related uh, videos you can watch and if you feel it's good please subscribe my channel and share this video okay let's get started with apache server so basically the apache http server is the free and the open source that means you no need to pay for this one so you can use for the personal use on your local systems and this is the cross platform web server software so now we are going to download the apache server for the windows so for that you switch to your browser and just type apache server for windows after that you will see the first link welcome the apache http server project apache software and sometimes you can see this using apache http server on the windows so we will click on the first link apache http server project the apache software you click on this first link and after that you can see that here is the apache httpd 2.4.1 release you just go to the download so now you can see the stable release that is the latest version is that 2.4.1 so you click on this one and here you can see that you can see the files for the microsoft windows you click on this link after that you will navigate to this apache for the windows and here you can see apache house and the apache launch so for our personal use we are going to use the apache launch and after that here you can check that apache 2.4 win 64 bit if your windows machine is the 64 bit you can download this one and if the windows machine is the 32 bit you can download this one so here also this is the redistributions for the 64 bit machine and this is for the 32 bit machines so we are going to download for the windows 64 bit machine because my windows is a 64 bit operating system machine so i'm going to download this so here you can see start downloading the httpd 2.4.1 windows 64 bit apache server after that you go to your download folder and you just copy this downloaded version and keep in your folder now you just extract the file here it's done then you can see the apache 24 folder you, after that you copy this folder and paste it in your c drive keeping this folder in the c drive i will let you know later and after that you go to this folder and go to till bin and copy the this bin folder and then you go to your computer then properties variables we are going to set the path of this bin locations where we have our apache this bin location to the our under the our system variables so here you can see the path and here you can see the new not new you just add it and here you can see new and just paste it here say okay now we want to install this one so for that you what you have to do you just go to your command prompt and launch your command prompt in the administrator you have to type the one command that is httpd space hyphen k space install 
double and install and just hit enter. So this you can see that Apache 2.4 service is successfully installed and testing the http.config error reporting here must be corrected before the service can be started. So now we are going to test httpd configuration file. Check that Apache 2.4 service is started or not you just go to your system services. So under the services you can see this Apache 2.4 service is available and if you want to start this service you just right click and say start and it will start the service on your I think this problems windows could not start the Apache 2.4 on your local computer that means to resolve these problems what you have to do again you go to the Apache download sections and here you can see that download this VC redistribution 64 bit and just click on it okay and just double click on it and after that it will ask to install this Microsoft Visual C++ this version for the 64 bit machine then say install then say yes setup successful then are going again to this one and if you refresh it and if you're trying to start the services go to your apache 24 folder in that folder you can see the conf folder is available and here you can see httpd config.con file and add it with the notepad so when you first time coming you can see here the port number is the 80 the port number is the 80 and it will listen on the 80 port number okay so now if some other applications are running on the port number 80 you cannot start your apache server service on this port number so if in my case if you can go to the local host and if i say colon 80 so by default one application is running on this port so that i cannot start the apache server on, on this port number now in your case how can you check so you go to your command form and in this command form you can type one command that i will provide you in the descriptions so you can type this command net state and you just hit enter so in your local systems you can check this is your local address so you can see this 80 port number is available and it is listening to some process id this is the first solution so you can change your port number to another port number like 890 and <clears throat> you can change after that you can change this document root directory you can change to your folder name where is your c colon slash apache 24 directory now you just type the one command httpd hyphen k and install so when you say that the apache 2.4 service is successfully installed if i if i want to test once it is running or no i will go to the refresh and again you trying to start So now you can see this my Apache 2.4 service is running. So now I want to check it. How to check it? Go to your browser, type localhost, then colon. Now the port number is the 90. When you hit enter, you can see it works. That means the server is up and it is running. Now we will go to the bin folder and in the bin folder you can see apache monitor.exe is already started. Okay.
now what else you can check this is the httpd this is run the uh, apache server and if you want to uninstall this apache server then what you can type this is the command uninstall to uninstall this apache server service so if you want to uninstall this service you just type this command and it will uninstall if you want to restart you can copy this and you can paste it here or you can type ttpd hyphen k r e f e a r t you can restart this server so it will restart you can ignore this one if you are if you are, still if you are not able to start this service then you have to change in config dot config file so you come to conf and here you again change the port number try with the different different port number and here you can see the logs and here you can see the access logs and in the access you can see this these are the logs get methods not getting any error if you have any error you can see all the errors here okay now this is the pid so install dot document so you can see the server port 80 server name this is the server admin port number we have changed in your system domain so these are the settings okay so this how this is how you can resolve this problem and then how to install the apache server and the service on the windows machines and we have also deal with the problems which we are uh, encountered during successfully starting of the service on the windows machine so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe this channel